Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, we'll be doing a review of Labrica. So Labrica is an AI-led SEO tool set that allows you to rank higher and generate more organic traffic. Essentially, it's an all-in-one SEO tool which allows you to track your keyword rankings. You also get recommendations in which you can follow to improve your pages and your overall website SEO to allow you to rank higher on Google and get more traffic to your web pages. Overall, this is a pretty well-reviewed SEO tool, and they also support different languages. So if you're in the French, Spanish, German, Portuguese, or Dutch market, you can actually go ahead and use this tool as well because it um, supports those other languages. The regular monthly plan for this tool is $19 per month and gives you 500 ranking queries and 10,000 pages in which you can crawl. You can go ahead and get the e-commerce plan, which is $73 per month, just gives you more keyword rankings and more pages in which you can crawl. And the highest tier is the agency plan, which is $140 per month. This gives you 20,000 keyword rankings and 100,000 page crawling credits. But lucky for you, at the time of recording this video, there is a lifetime deal for Labrica on AppSumo. So you can go ahead and get this tool um, for a one-time purchase of just $69. So for $69, you'll get 500 keyword rankings each month, 10,000 page crawling credits, unlimited websites, and you get a lot of other features as well included for this pricing. I highly recommend if you're going to get a plan for this SEO tool, go ahead and get it from AppSumo if it is still available because you'll save a lot of money in the long run getting the lifetime deal rather than having to pay monthly. Just before we continue this review, I wanna let you know that I recently recorded a full 30 minute in-depth training on how I went from zero to over 10K per month from this YouTube channel. So if you wanna go ahead and check out that free training, I'll leave a link below. Once you have a plan, this is what your dashboard will look like. You'll be able to enter your domain name, you'll be able to select your site language, and you'll also be able to select the number of pages in which you want to scan. The minimum amount of pages will be 1,000, but if you have less than 1,000, then those credits will just be returned to your balance. So don't worry if you don't even have 1,000 pages to scan. Next, you wanna go ahead and add your keyword. So you can manually add your keyword. So for instance, I know my website is around AI copywriters, so I can add that in there. And you can go ahead and continue um, adding your keywords manually, or you can go ahead and get keyword suggestions. Now I've already went ahead and clicked this button, but essentially what happens is uh, this tool will go ahead and scrape your website and see what keywords you're organically ranking for. Then it'll go ahead and put those keywords on a list and you'll just be able to go ahead and just um, add that onto your account. But that's obviously a much simpler way in order for you to add your keywords, but I recommend just doing both, adding your keywords manually, um, and then also going ahead and getting some keyword suggestions from this tool. Once you're happy, go ahead and start and save your analysis. After you've went ahead and added your keywords, next you wanna go ahead and add the search engine in which you'll be doing your research and your tracking for. Um, you can go ahead and choose a country, but you don't necessarily need to do that, but you can go ahead and change the device type. So if you're um, specifically looking to optimize for desktop or for mobile, you can go ahead and do so. And again, you can go ahead and change the language here. So let's go ahead and leave it at English, and we're gonna leave the search depth to 50. So you can go ahead and change this to top 100, or you can go ahead and do this for top 50. And once you confirm those changes, that search engine will be added on to your account. So once you're happy with that, go ahead and click save and start analysis. And as you can see, you have a couple different analysis in which you can do, you have a full site analysis. The next type of analysis will be a technical audit, which will essentially just give you um, some recommendations which you need to improve your overall site or you can go ahead and only do a search ranking audit. Um, but for this example, let's go ahead and do a full site analysis. So once you're happy with that, go ahead and click next. And then it's going to confirm how many pages and how many credits you'll be using. And once you're happy, go ahead and click start. Once the full audit is completed, you'll be able to see a summary of the report. So first thing you see here is a snapshot of your website. Then you'll be able to see a snapshot of your keyword ranking. So the keywords in which you set up at the beginning um, when you were setting up your um, SEO tool, those keywords will be shown up um, within this section here. Next, you'll be able to see your top organic competitors. So this is going to show you your competitors based upon the keywords in which you selected and the keywords in which your website is ranking for. So this is a nice touch because you can go ahead and take a look at some competitors maybe that you haven't seen before and take a look to see what they're doing um, what improvements you can make on your own website and maybe even get some ideas for keywords in which you can start um, trying to rank for. Next will be your technical audit. So this will give you recommendations which you need to follow to improve your on-page and off-page SEO 
for your website. So if you scroll down here, you'll be able to see a site summary report. This is divided by the critical things in which you need to change or improve upon if you want to improve your on-site SEO. You also have some other technical errors. You have some warnings and you have some notices as well. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to see any of the critical technical errors in which you need to improve upon. So for this website, the 301 redirect from HTTP to HTTPS um, is not working properly. So this is something which I would definitely need to go ahead and improve upon um, if I want to increase or improve the technical SEO for this website. So that's under security. If we scroll down, we'll see your website availability test. We'll see some domain information, some hosting information. And below that is server errors. And again, we have to correct the 404 response when page is not found. So that's something which we need to improve upon. And if you wanted to go ahead and see what any of these things are, just go ahead and click on description and it'll actually tell you exactly what that thing is. So again, under sitemap, we can see some recommendations of changes in which we need to make some HTML changes as well. Uh, some images in which we need to improve upon. And then you have your Google page speed insights. Now the second audit in which you will have is the SEO audit. So this is going to give you an overall report for your um, on page SEO. So we can see here that there's um, 30 critical errors, 33 other SEO errors and 43 warnings. And again, same idea applies Just scroll down and you'll be able to see exactly what those issues are. And if you wanted to go ahead and make those changes or see exactly where the error is, go ahead and click show and you'll be able to see exactly which web pages they're talking about. Next is the optimization tool report. So again, we'll be able to see um, some optimization tips in which we can follow to improve our on-page SEO and rank higher for specific pages on our websites. So again, anything in red is a critical error and you definitely wanna go ahead and look into that. And under optimization tool, again, we have some other errors. So keyword groups with an SLL value of less than 40%. Keyword groups with an incorrect text size of their landing page. And again, if you want to go ahead and look into that, click on details and we'll be able to see exactly um, where those optimization improvements can be made. Labrica is pretty cool because it has a built in optimization tool. So go ahead and click the content optimizer. And here you can see that it'll actually give you an on page content optimization score. And um, from here, it actually give you also some um, recommendations in which you can follow to improve that optimization score for that specific page. So this is really, really neat. Um, it really takes out the guesswork when you're trying to optimize your content. You can just go ahead and click the optimization tool, go ahead and get some recommendations, and then go ahead and include that, improve your on-page optimization. You can do that for pages, or you can even do that for a blog post on your website. So for instance, this is the blog post in which we have. As you can see, we've done some pretty good optimization here, but there are some things in which we need to improve upon. So for this specific blog post, we're getting recommendations to increase the amount of words that's in this specific um, blog post here. We're also getting some recommendations of keywords in which we need to include within this blog post if we wanna rank um, for this target keyword and variations of that keyword. So very, very neat. Um, I like that you have a website tool, but also a content optimization tool included because usually those are two separate tools. Next, we have some keyword stuffing. So it'll actually tell us if um, we've stuffed too many keywords or if we need to go ahead and put some more keywords in there. Below that, we have some errors. So there's some errors in which you can go ahead and take a look at. You have keywords, you have competitors, you have snippets, and you have a content brief. So really, really useful feature there. Um, really powerful as well, um, because if you want to go ahead and optimize your content, you don't have to get an external tool. You can do it all right within this tool. So that's the end of the full audit report in which we got back from Labrica. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other um, standalone features that are included within this tool. First, we have the site rankings. We went over this um, a little bit earlier in the video, but you'll be able to see the keywords in which you set up and you'll be able to see a history of your ranking for that specific keyword. And if you go ahead and filter by the desktop, you'll be able to see some nice charts of your ranking for that keyword. So pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and move on to the next feature, which is the optimization and keyword grouping. So we actually went over this um, earlier as well because we did get some recommendations um, from our site report in which we needed to make. So again, this will allow you to go ahead and optimize any pages on your website or any blog posts in which you have. It's going to give you um, some recommendations which you need to make to improve um, your content optimization to as close as 100 as possible. And below that, you have your technical site audit. So we already did a technical site audit. Essentially, this will give you recommendations which you need to make um, to improve the technical SEO of your website. And below that is your sitemap. So if you're having issues with indexing, this will be a very useful tool for you. So you can go ahead and filter by um, 
URLs that are in your sitemap but not available for indexing. So this will be good so that you can go ahead and take a look to see what um, URLs are within this section and you can go ahead and remove those if you don't need it on your website. And you can also go ahead and take a look at any URL that's blocked for indexing but in your sitemap. You can also go ahead and take a look at pages that are indexable but not listed in the sitemap. So this will allow you to see if there's any pages that can be indexed but are not within your sitemap. So pretty cool tool there. Below that will be your SEO audit and crawl. So this will show you a summary of all of the key SEO metrics and improvements in which you need to make on your website. This is pretty cool because instead of having to go through every single one of these to see what the errors are, you're able to see the errors right here and you're able to go ahead and make those changes. Below that is your user behavior data. In order to use this, you need to connect this to your Google Analytics and you'll be able to get some data um, based upon your user insights and your user behavior. You'll also be able to see keywords in which your site is already ranking for. You'll be able to see the regions in which you're getting traffic from, data for specific web pages, traffic sources, keywords, ads, organic search, and pages without any traffic. And below that is links. So you'll be able to see your internal links for your specific web pages. You'll also be able to see if there's too many outbound, if there's no outbound, landing pages with too few inbound links. You'll also be able to see your external links so you can go ahead and see where you're linking out to um, within your blog post. And if you want to go ahead and see exactly where um, those external links are, like which blog post they're in, go ahead and click on the show all and you'll be able to see the web pages in which those links are in. And lastly, you'll be able to see links with no anchor text. Overall, I think Lubrica is a very good and a very powerful SEO tool. I really like their site audit tool. I think it gives you a really detailed breakdown of the improvements in which you need to make to improve your overall website SEO. And on top of that, it's a very affordable tool. The lifetime deal starts at $69 and this gives you access to unlimited websites. So it doesn't really matter how many websites you have in your portfolio or if you work with a variety of different websites, you can go ahead and use uh, this plan to help optimize and help manage those websites SEO. If the lifetime deal is still available, I'll leave a link below. If not, I'll leave a link for the regular monthly plan. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.